Hi, this is Penny Royston from Evil Sizer Transportation Services in Littleton, Colorado. I'm here today to talk to you about how to check on your authority status. We find in our business that a lot of companies simply have no idea where to go on the internet to find out exactly what their status is. They often feel kind of lost when they go to the port and the, the guy at the port of entry says your authority has been suspended. So this is just a quick little video to let you know uh, how you can do this yourself. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and probably a lot of money at the end. So up here in the title, uh, we're going to type in safersys.org. This is the U.S. Department of Transportation system. And then we're going to come down and in the second column here, we're going to click on licensing and insurance. I've got two examples for you today. The first one will be an active account. We're going to type in this account number here. I know Jamie from Jack Key. They're really wonderful people. And if you'll notice, this uh, this is his motor carrier detail. You can, right down here uh, where it says BOC3, yes. You want to make sure that says yes for one, re one thing. And uh, we filed the, the BOC for them, so that's why our name is in there. Up here you've got their MC number, we've got a US DOT number, we have a business address, phone numbers. The most important thing is right here in this column. We want to make sure that our authority is active. So according to this, their common and their contract both are active. Now this is public information. Anyone can look this up. And this is what the guy at the port of entry will be looking at, this screen right here. Another important feature right here is the insurance. We want to make sure that insurance is on file. If this is not on file, you will not have an active status, which means you cannot drive, period. There is no grace period or I'm going to get it on time on on file here pretty soon. It's pretty black and white with the government crossing state lines. The authority status must read active, the insurance must be on file, the BOC must be on file. And then down here with authority history, this is going to tell us the date, the, the history, the authority history, the date it was originally granted, I had a couple of reinstatements, Probably because the insurance was not on file. That's the most uh, popular problem. So let's pop back to carrier details. And the, this will also tell you who the insurance is, whether there's any pending applications. So Jack Key looks really good here. So now we're going to go back to carrier search, hit go, and we're going to look up his other account. This is an account that he started a few years ago and just uh, let it go. It's, it's a broker and here you will see where it says inactive. This is where you cannot operate as, as any type of business with the Federal Motor Carrier if this says inactive. You'll see the BOC fell off. We were the BOC holder at the time and a bond that is required for brokers also is no longer there. So this authority status here is null and void. <clears throat> they cannot operate as, a, as an active broker. Now they can reinstate this. They would have to put on the BOC3 again, which we can take care of here. We only charge $30, no, time, uh, no annual fee. And we file it really quickly. We make sure that's not holding you up. And then they would need to file a bond, either a BMC 84 or a BMC 85. They can go to a bonding company, they can go to a trust fund at their bank and set that up, but it must be filed with the Federal Motor Carrier before any of this is taken care of. Even though you may have that bond in your hand, if it does not say yes for insurance on file, it really doesn't do you any good. It's got to be filed with the Federal Motor Carrier. So I hope that explains how to look up who you're doing business with. If you're going to lease on with someone, you want to make sure they're active. Come back to this screen and 
type in their MC number. This is public information. It's not spying. It's making sure that you know who you're doing business with is active, and that is so critical. So I hope this uh, clarified a few things on how to look up your status. You can do this 24-7. It is available all the time. Uh, again, my name is Penny Royston with Evil Sizer Transportation Services, and it's a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you.